Perhaps one of the strangest things about Power BI is the lack of ability to import custom fonts. This can be done, but it requires changing the JSON file that makes up your theme. This doesn't take too long though, and I'm going to talk you through it. These fonts are fine. And if you go into your formatting, and if you go down to your data label and try and change your font, you'll see you've got a limited variety. Now my favourite fonts are probably the ones from Lord of the Rings, Blackadder or maybe even Blade Runner, but those are copyrighted for obvious reasons. So instead I'm going to use one of the built-in fonts and this is Blackadder. If you've never watched Blackadder, I thoroughly recommend it. Rowan Atkinson at his finest. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this font into Power BI so I can customise this card. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go up to the view tab. I'm going to use the drop down and I'm going to save my current theme because if you've already done some work this would be a bit of a pain to then have to change again. I'm going to save this as my current theme and I'm saving that on the desktop somewhere nice and easy to find. I'm then going to switch to my browser and what I'm going to do is open up one of the free online editors. Now if you're lucky enough to have something like Visual Studio, then you could simply open your JSON file in that. I'm using one of these online ones because they have all the formatting good to go. I'm going to go to Open. I'm going to choose to Open from Disk. I'm going to grab my current theme. And I'm going to click on this little format icon here, just so it comes out in a nicer layout. I've got the name of my theme up the top all the default colours, so if I wanted to change some of the default colours I could do so. I've got my background, foreground, a whole bunch of settings, but the one I'm interested in is text classes. So right now it's set here to the default font, but I want to bring in my black adder. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is just check the spelling on that. So we've got black adder space ITC. So I'm going to replace Black adder ITC. And I'm going to replace each of my fonts with this. You've also got Control H to do a finding and replace. With that, I'm going to save my file, save that to disk. Then I'm going to import that into my Power BI. Go to the View tab, use the Theme drop-down, go to Browse for Themes. It's not that one, probably should have called it a different name. It's the one in Downloads that I've just downloaded. Current Theme. Open that up, and just like that, you'll see I've now got my font. Of course, if I want this to be different to the default, I can always still go in and just change it to a different font. Now, one thing you do want to bear in mind is whilst this does work when you upload it to Power BI service, it will only be able to use this custom font if your user has it on their local computer. So if I was to uninstall Blackadder and then reference this published report, it would default back. Because of course the font still isn't available. Obviously this shouldn't be a problem if it's your corporate font that everyone has already installed, but if you were passing it to say someone from outside of your organisation, if they don't have it, they would need to install it. So be careful depending on what custom fonts you decide to use. I hope you've enjoyed this YSL short, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to do another one where they have this feature good to go already. But until then, I'll see you in the next video.